guys. This is my Halloween themed Wizard of Oz journal and this one was made from a vintage book. This book was literally in pieces when I got it. I mean, I have put a new spine on there and I've tried to salvage what I could from the book, but there wasn't a whole lot left of it, I'm afraid. I got it at a uh, estate sale and it was what it was. So I did what I could with it and I made this journal and I hope you guys enjoy watching. So on the front we have a little bat here and then this is a spider with a web. And of course, Jack Pumpkinhead of Oz. Here is the spine. I tried to salvage that one piece that was there. It was loose, but I did take this off and put it on here because it's a cool graphic and it's old. And here's the back. Right here is the front and I have all these like papers sticking out here. Kind of just, I roughed them up and distressed them just, just to give it a kind of a look. It's kind of a wild journal, so. And then another little token on the front says imagine. All right, so we will get into it and I will show you what we got. And these, I couldn't bear to cover these up, so I didn't do much for in papers. I just put this here because I wanted you guys to be able to see the old graphics that were still there. So that's what that is. Um, here is the front. And these are a lot of pages from the book that, I, that were included in there. And there were all, I also had some images from the book that I asked tried to put all in here as well. And you will see. And these are like from Graphics 45 pictures that I got. And I'll let you know if there's anything else as we go along. Because <laughs> I can't always remember whatever what all I put in here. Here's the front. Here's another one of those old images. It's Happy Halloween. Here is a pocket. And a car. A tag. A place to write on the back. And here's some images from Mrs. Cog. And still some from Graphic 45. Old page. They get a little wear and tear. They're really old. I have reinforced them at all of the creases so that they won't just rip out of the book. Otherwise they would have. They're, it's very old paper. So you just have to be careful with it. There's this. Here's some more of that Graphic 45 paper. Tag. And this is a pocket. There's room for you to put in there. Oh, but I'll take care of it. Here's that room for you to put something inside. And you can also write on the back. Here's this. Cute images. I love this one. This is one of my favorites. The City of Baffleburg. Look at him. He's so cute. And here is a scarecrow. And of course, the Wicked Witch of the West, because this is Halloween themed, so. And here's a cute little witch there. Some of the old papers. Frightfully cute. And this is this is how I would do Halloween, because I view Halloween more as a cute time for children to dress up. I don't really go into a lot of the other aspects of it. That's me. So this is done kind of my style, which is more of like a retro, cute, vintagey type of style. Here's a pumpkin head. And here's another one pocket. I haven't put anything in this one. There's a pocket here, and it does open here as well. So you put stuff in there. Here is a tag with a place right on the back. And here is another journaling card, larger journaling card. These are some old book pages. They're fall themed. The trees. The bearded baron. Those images. <laughs> I just love these. The scarecrow. It's a place to write on another one of those pages. Pockets, 
old book page. Magic of Oz. The Scarecrow's new house. Make me laugh. More tags and a journaling card. There's Jack. Flying monkeys. You can see those okay. Make sure my angle's right here. A lot of tool flying around here. I like the effect. A little tag and a pocket. Oh, book pages. Pocket. Tag. Okay. Huh, <laughs> she looks so angry. I forget her name. This is a, a patchwork girl. Just to write. That tag and a journaling card. High times in Swing City. I really gotta get a hang on to all these strings, man. They're going crazy on me. That's alright, I'll fix that. And then here's the end, and this is a picture of Jack that I could not cover up. And that is it. Thanks for taking a look, guys. Bye.